Get one, I do, I do. D2 here. Tom. Are you mad? Tom. Welcome to the land of death, Chef Enyeze. I knew this was a handiwork of you and the little princess. So tell me, Prince, what do you want? You will kill my father tonight or die. These guys will bury you here. Choose one. Very well then, my prince. Let them go ahead and bury me, for I will not spill the royal blood. You practically refused to kill our sick, old, dying father. Inyeze, this is your last chance to leave. Choose wisely, my friend. Inyeze, even in the face of death, you are not afraid. I will say this for the very last time. Princess. Position to shoot. You will kill my father today. All I want from you is a yes or no answer. Enyeze, would you or not kill my father? Well, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I will never spill the royal blood. My answer is no. Boys! My princess! Shoot him! You had a choice. Last night, so. I know. So, what are you going to do now? You can't serve His Majesty burnt food. I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, maybe I should go tell. <laughs> don't worry. I'll tell him myself. Okay? Okay. Meanwhile, thank you very much. <coughs> You're welcome. Killed. Shot. Dead. And you will be dead if you continue to burn food in this house. My princess, I'm, I'm sorry about this. Okay, I I was very tired and I I slept off. Where is my father's meal?
I'm sorry, my princess. family agrees and signs to the times. I think we can carry on with the process. Dr. Alfred, I am the queen of this kingdom. I move the motion. You can go ahead with it. No way. That will never happen in this kingdom as long as I'm alive. And who are you to counter the words of my mother? I am Chembakwe. And I must tell you, the decree of your mother will never stand. Nonsense. Absolutely nonsense. Let me remind you that you are not part of this royal family and will not decide what happens here. Let me also remind you that I am also the chief cabinet member, the majority leader in this council. So I have a say of what happens to my king. Dr. Alfred, take your bag and leave this kingdom for good. Now! Leave! Uh, you people should not uh, blame the chain of Or a man that dances on the roadside. Without hearing a drum beat, probably is hearing some strange sound. Yes, the king has been sick for more than 10 years now. But before we can do anything, the royal family must fully be present before any document can be signed. What do you mean by royal household being fully represented? Queen Dora, Prince Ikemba, our king, His Excellency, Ezala Ike, has another son. What? Mother, I know he's not making sense, but what is he talking about? The time has come for you and your mother to know the truth, so that there can be peace. What nonsense are you old fools speaking about? Ichiba, what are you saying? That is the truth. Mother. What is this buffoon talking about? The king has another son. Mother, I'm asking you. I am the only son of my father. I am the only son of my father. Hello, mom. <laughs> I'm in Nigeria right now. Yes, mom. No, 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 no. I'm going straight to the hotel. All right, Mom. Mom, I can't come to that kingdom right now. You know everything. All right, Mom. Just take care of yourself. I've missed you too. <laughs> but I'm in Nigeria right now, so you have nothing to worry about. All right, Mom. Take care. Love you too. <laughs> Whoa! Home sweet home. Is looking so smart, beautiful, lovely views and everything. How can I 
I not know my father had a son? A son, and I don't even know. How, mother? How? You can but relax. You are the crown king of this kingdom. You will succeed your father, and there is no two ways about it. Mother, that is not what the tradition states. Mm. Please educate me. It says that whoever my father, the king, appoints at will will be the next king of our kingdom. And the great king of Amokwe kingdom, the emperor, will crown the chosen person, king, of our kingdom. Already established. So? Since we always know that my father has a son somewhere else, a son that we don't know about, don't you think he will be the one to succeed him? Never. Never. That will not happen. I am the next king and that is final. Brother, the king appoints who will be the next king. And the almighty king of Amokwe kingdom crowns the person king. Do I need to keep singing this like a song before it sinks into our head? Come to think of it. Father hasn't even said anything about confirming you the next king of our kingdom. And that is because he has a son who we don't even know about. A son we just heard from the cabinet members today. My son shall be the next king of this kingdom. The emperor of Amokwe kingdom shall crown him the king. Of course, I have been a wonderful friend to the royal kingdom. Mother, please be calm. None of us has an idea who the next king of Amokwe kingdom is. Besides, your relationship with them just got started and it's obvious. Are you saying their king is dead? Brother, you are living in the moon. How would you know? You better sit up because the drum is about to change its rhythm. Mommy, all we should concentrate on is to focus on how to make sure that this new prince, this new prince we just heard about, does not come into this palace or even set his eyes on the throne. I'm sure you will concur with me that Ikemba here has been a terrible record, a very terrible one. I mean, he's the reason why father is lying on the bed like a vegetable. Have you ever wondered if father would crown him the king? <laughs> Never. Not in this life. Your sister is right. You have never been a good son to your father. But nevertheless, we shall fight it to the top. No one will take my throne from me. No one. Uh, now that they are aware, their ego would have dropped drastically. Especially that of that uh, Prince Kemba. Uh, 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 let me go and bring drink now. Uh, 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 apple, manya, leave the drink, Chari. We are okay. Uh, uh, you are, you are okay. Leave the drink, we are okay. Okay. We are okay. Especially that uh, 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 ego of uh, 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 Prince Kemba. Oh, it's going to Allah. drop drastically by force. Exactly. It will drop. Yes. Uh, look, until his stepbrother enters this kingdom and agree with all of them. There will be no mercy killing for our king. Yes, you are right. Imagine the queen saying that she has approved the mercy killing. Forgetting that the next king of Amokwe kingdom will practically observe and sign. Her majesty of Amokwe kingdom will also sign. The governors, the commissioner for culture will also sign. Even we, the elders, will also sign as well. Yes, you are right. Not only that, even the chief priest will sign. And all the Christian leaders in our kingdom will always sign yes. that we have all agreed to terminate the life of our king due to his unbearable ill health. Eh? 
that, that is the procedure. And anything less than that, it will not happen. Mancha, Mancha, you never. So, uh, we all must learn from the greedy in the Nkewan's death to know that the ghost does not sleep. You are right. Uh, let me also encourage us as members of the council. Your 
Wednesday, I know she came to torment you as usual. But I promise you, you will not die untimely. She will not die, okay? I am your friend. I will stand with you till the end of time. I promise you this. Let me feed you now, Your Majesty. Bad mother, with bad children, I made plans. Very desperate and yeah. ambitious. Fatally to the Bodonica. Want to rule the kingdom by fire by fire. What? His Majesty has another son. Yes. But my late husband, King Ezekiel, did not tell me that his best friend, your husband had another son. How come he didn't tell me that your husband has another son apart from Ikemba? Do you know my pain? My pain is that he has refused to die. I, I am tired. I don't know what to do. My children and I have tried. We have tried to, to make him die. He refused. It's just imagine. Another son somewhere. He's so heartbreaking. Um, mother, please. Let me excuse you and your friend. I will be in my room if you don't mind. I need to remind you that it's not been long you started coming to this kingdom and I accepted your hand in friendship. I wouldn't want you to sound this way. Instead, I would want you to pray that your husband, the king of Oboe kingdom, regains his health. I am sorry. I am sorry. Uh, just that he has been bedridden for, for a decade now. Uh, he, he's just like a vegetable. He's useless. Uh, he can't help himself. He can't do anything for himself. He can't talk. I am tired. He even stinks. He stinks. You want your son to be the next king of Obobo Kingdom? Yes, yes, my lady. That is what I want. You already know. I want him to be the next king of Obobo Kingdom. Please do that for me. Help me, please. And now there is another son. Yes. Yes, that is the problem. That is why I want you to help me as a friend. Please. Since you are the mother of the emperor, uh, is, use your power, please. Make your son to crown my son the next king of Oboe. Do that for me, please. Help me, I beg you. I beg you, please. All right. Help me. My son, the rightful heir to the throne of our kingdom, traveled to abroad. Whenever he comes back, we will take it from there. Thank you. Thank you. But please, Desist from harming the king. I beg of you. It's all right. I quit. That's fine. Fine. I quit. Yeah. Mother. Yes, my princess. May I speak from the depths of my heart? You can go ahead. 
I can see gross desperation and unnecessary zeal on the face of that queen. Why? <laughs> My princess. Mother. I bet you don't know what is about to happen in her kingdom. But they are far from knowing the truth. Hmm. Yes, mother. <laughs> far from it. <laughs> but mother, why is our kingdom or my brother appointed to crown the king of Obowo kingdom? I do not understand it. Why? All right. Let me explain. The dynasty of your father, late King Ezekiel, who just passed on, is a great emperor. Yes. The royal lineage is designed by the gods with the mandate of crowning other kings in the sixth kingdom of Obudamuku, which our own kingdom happens to be the eldest brother of them all. Hmm. But mother, are you saying the other six kingdoms just not have or know who crowns them king? Oh, the only approved Onowu that will crown an emperor is your uncle. He will be the one to crown your brother, the emperor. And your brother becomes superior to other dynasties and kingdoms. And then he becomes the majesty of this kingdom. Hmm. This is very interesting. Mm. <laughs> yes, it is. Mm. You don't know what is about to happen in this kingdom. But let us be watching. The passing away of our great king, Igwe Ezekiel IV, of great ancient Amelkwe kingdom, is indeed a sad one. But that is a lesson for us, the living, that there is a time for everything on earth, a time for a man to be born, a man to live, to grow, and chase his dreams, whether fulfilled or unfulfilled, and finally goes back to his creator. We should use this time to reflect and be sober in our minds that if after living our life on earth, what shall we be remembered for? For good or for evil? The passing away of our brother, the king, left us with these thoughts. He was a great man. A true king indeed. Yes, he was. He was a great king indeed. Uh, Your Majesty, uh, we want you to furnish us with the update of the next king. Thank you. All right. 
Oh, you can sit down. You can sit down. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Yes. 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 Thank you, my elders. Death is a call of nature. Everyone has a date for it. Ironically, we don't have a date for our own call. It is mostly like that. No matter your value on earth, your ambition, love, peace, what have you, the inevitable call of nature hangs on each and every one of us gathered here. On this note, I say good morning to the living. Good, good morning, morning, your royal majesty, the, the queen of Amogwe kingdom. kingdom. You're welcome. Thank you, my people. Our crown prince, as we all know, is fine. He is held and hearty. He is to do the last wish of his great father, said. His Majesty, late King Ezekiel the Fourth, dropped a letter before he rested. And it is only my son that knows the content of the letter. And when the content of the letter is achieved, According to what he told me on phone, he shall return. Thank you. My fellow elders, since we don't know the content of the letter, let us wait and hope it's a good one. Okay. Also, let me remind us that our crown prince must find a wife before Ono install him as the king. Bia, Iche, what are you saying? Who does not know about that? And besides, we all do not know the content of the letter. If it was written that the prince should travel out and get a wife or something, we do not know. Eh? Nah, uh, nah, nah, it's alright. Iche, Iche, I'm only emphasizing. Stop emphasizing on what we already know, please. Uh, it's all right. Um, it's here. Um, we want you to tell us what is the next item in the agenda so that we proceed. Oh, uh, no, wait. I have a question to ask. When will our crown prince return? We don't have enough time. And the throne must not be empty. More than 75 days. He shall return before then. All right. We have cleared our curiosity. Thank you very much. Okay, Thank that's you. okay. Yes. Mom, the truth is that I'm not coming to that kingdom right now. Yes. The elders can wait for all I care. I know why they are all eagerly waiting for me to come. Mom, no one knows I'm in Nigeria right now. Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Mom, I'm going to stay here and study things before I unveil myself. Yes. Good. Good. <laughs> Great. Now you're understanding me, Mom. Great. <laughs> Mom, you have nothing to worry about. I'm going to be the next king of my kingdom. By the grace of God, my so-called stepbrother can't take away what father has given to me. Yes, Mom. All right. Thank you, Mom. I will talk to you later. All right. Bye. What are you doing there? Uh, my princess, I was just taking a call. You are taking a call? Yes, my princess. Idiot, I asked you to make pepper soup for me. 
and there you stand, taking a love call. Have you no sense at all? My princess, your pepper soup is on fire. And who cares? The pepper soup is on fire. And you are here, doing what? You were so incompetent. In fact, you are the most foolish person I've ever seen in my entire life. Thank Look you. at you. Would you get lost and get my food right at this minute? Yes, my princess. Our king must not die. Our king must live. Under my watch, yeah. He must not die. They call me. Come on, chef. Come on, chef. Hello, my princess. I'm fine. How are you and how was your night? I say, well, I'm calling to remind you that I will be at your palace before noon. I made the special purpose for you and I'm telling you, you will love it. <laughs> I know you can't wait. Not to worry, just chill. I'm coming, all right? <laughs> okay, my darling, see you soon. Our king. Mother, I must not be in rush. Okay, I will stay far away from the kingdom and observe. All right. It's all right. Please, I need to take my time. Mother, you won't believe this. I never knew dad has a gluten factory in India. It's very, very, very big, mother. Ah. You don't have to worry yourself. Yes, I know. I'll talk to you later, mother. Yeah, come in. Come in. Oh. Okay, um, drop it here. Drop it here then. How much do you need? 4,500 units. Okay, don't worry, I'm on the call. When I'm done, I'll come downstairs and make the payment. Okay, sir. Alright, thank you. Hello, Mom. Are you there? Yes, I was saying. Mom, I've told you not to worry yourself. <laughs> Mom, please, please, please. Bad, yeah. I need to have my time. I'm hungry. They, they brought me breakfast and I have to eat something. I'll talk to you later, mother. All right. All right. Let me allow you. We'll talk later. Bye and stay safe. Mother. Oh, my princess. Who was that? Your brother. When is he coming back? I've missed him so much. And I'm sick and tired of this whole thing. I miss my brother. He will be back when he is done with what he is doing. Come on. You know it's not going to be easy for him. I know. But I miss him. I miss my brother. It's not easy. Mother, I'll be in my room. Princess Arashi is coming to see me. All right? Okay, mother. I better take my leave.
You have to come with us. Come with you, though. We your are... mother, your mother. Your, your mother has collapsed, so. I don't know if you see your daughter. Come yeah. with us, I beg. Knife, I beg. Come, 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 uh, which hospital? Okay, okay, I'm coming right away. Let me just take permission. Uh, you will see me immediately. Okay. Please, take, take care of her, please. Uh, I'm coming. Let me just take permission. I'll be Stop this nonsense. Why do you keep making him feel so special? Get out. Queen Mother, please. My mother is dying. Please allow me to go and see her, even if it's for one hour. Please. I want to see her. She's dying. I am not lying to you. You can call my brother if I need to confirm. <laughs> She's dead. What is this bloody food saying? Your mother can die for all I care. Hey, my priest. Now will you get out of my presence? Priest, please. Get out! Get out! Will you get out? What are you doing about this heartbreaking news that I have a brother somewhere? <laughs> My son, relax. My plans are working out smoothly. The new king of Amoko Kingdom will be the one to crown the king, right? Yes. I am not the best friend to the queen. Or should I say her good friend? And by the virtue of her friendship, she would tell her son to cry you the king. Regardless of you having any stepbrother anyway, I don't even care. Great. That's great. I have sent the princess, your sister, to befriend princess of Amokwe Kingdom. By so doing, she will have access to the new king. Perhaps get married to him. And you, you think uh, if we become in-laws, he will waste time crowning you the king? He won't waste time. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Mother, you have a very high IQ. You are the smartest mom that I know. You can say that again. I'm telling you, you are good at what you do. <laughs> <laughs> My son, you have to do something too. Yes. As your sister is now uh, getting access to the princess of uh, Amokwe Kingdom, I will also want you to try to win her heart. Try and get access to her. Do you understand? By the time you get access to her, win her heart, my darling, the rest are history. You know what I mean? Of course. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't fall for a handsome young man like me? Considering the fact that I am the next king. <laughs> uh, my son, it doesn't work that way. What you will do is to study the princess. Get access to her heart first and study her. Find out if she will have interest in marrying royalty. Sometimes royal guests don't have, have interest in marrying their co-royalty. Mm. 
Yes. So we have a lot of work to do. Mother, you are right. You are definitely right. Improvise. Adapt. And overcome. <laughs> <laughs> this is absolute wickedness. Why would they refuse you from seeing your sick mother at the hospital? Huh? Why is, why is the queen doing this? Honestly, I, I feel like quitting this job. I feel like quitting. If not for some reasons, I, I would have gone. <laughs> I understand. At least for the money, right? Far from that. Because they've not paid my salary for about two and a half years now. What? They've not paid your salary for two and a half years? How? You think I'm lying? You can ask Ebuka. I'm telling you the truth. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. So what are you doing here? Why wouldn't they pay your salary for two and a half years? In a country that's so hard like this. You want to understand? This whole thing is confusing me right now. But you know what? I, I will talk to the Queen Mother as soon as she gets back. Okay? I will talk to her because this is so, this is so inhuman. This is the height of wickedness. At least let me see her. Even if it's for once, let me know that she's okay. She's fine. Let me see. It's okay. It's all right. Huh? I'm, I'm sure your mother is fine. She'll be fine. Okay? It's all right. Everything will be okay. Okay? We cannot attend to your mother without any deposits. Listen, doctor. Please, you have to treat my mother. She needs urgent attention. Please. I've told you that my sister is coming with the money. So, is she coming with the 150,000 Naira? Yes, doctor. She's coming with the money. You have to commence treatment of my mother, please. Very good then. Then we'll have to wait for her. Doctor, my mother will die. Please, don't let her die. She needs urgent attention. You see, this is a private hospital. If I administer any treatment or medication to your mother without deposition, I will be queried. I mean, of course, I wouldn't want that to happen. Listen, doctor. So please, doctor. understand my own part doctor, of the story. Doctor, listen, please. My mother will die. She needs your help. Please. I'm sorry. There are rules in this hospital. You have to make that deposition. Please don't talk. Treat my mother. Please. I wish. But there's nothing I can do. You see, I'm asking you this because I'm curious. And also, you're the oldest guard in this palace. Sure. I will tell you because you are a very good chef. And you are also a strong person in the spirit. The queen and her children are desperate to kill the king. I know that. I see it in their eyes. I'm not blind. But my question is, why has Ifnaya not been paid for two and a half years? When they all know Ifnaya's mother is in the hospital with uncleared hospital bills, if Unanya is the only virgin in this kingdom. What are you talking about? What concerns this answer with what I just asked you? I will explain to you. That water if Unanya uses in cleaning the king's body is a sacred water. And it's only a virgin in the land can clean the king's body or bait the king's body with that water. Now, the queen asked Ifunanya to leave the palace. Ifunanya refused. She also told her to stop attending to his majesty. She refused. She went as far as attempting to defile Ifunanya's purity. She still failed. What? 
I was in the palace on that fateful day. Go to Umuchu Kingdom and get Ubok relief for me. All right, my queen. Well, please, can I go with the palace driver? How dare you? If Nanya, I have really spoiled you in this palace. Will you get out of my sight? Out! Get out! Ebuka. Your Majesty. Go to Mbakwe's house and call him for me. Your Majesty. She's on her way. I want a perfect job. Good job. This village is very far. There is no guard here with me and she did not allow the driver to take me. Eh? How can I get to Bogi to live here? It's not like we don't have it in our kingdom. I don't know why she likes punishing me. If her plan is for me to leave the palace out of frustration, I will not leave. I will not go. I will not. They want to rule the kingdom by fire, by fire. choose a If he stand on their way, they will destroy you. The money has been delivered. And if they think otherwise, we will apply plan B. You are right. My queen. My princess. I, I got the Ubogiri leaves. Go and prepare it. Mommy, she looks so untouched and happy. What? Shut up! What Max Squared are you talking about? I hate nonsense excuses! Masquerade is in this in this community. What are you telling me? You are just a fool. Get out of my phone. Mommy, did you say masquerade? A strange masquerade interrupted the move. What? <clears throat> Go ahead. Say what you have to say. Your Majesty, I'm here to plead on behalf of Ifenaya to be given some days off to go and see her sick mother who's been lying critically ill in the hospital. She has been crying all day. Please, Your Majesty, I beg you, give her some time off. Biyamwake, get out. Excuse me. I said get out, you bloody fool. Did you not hear her? Get out. Out. Get out before I use my slippers on you, fool! Thank you. Out! It's the audacity for 
for me. Your Highness, I'm here to free to let Ifunaya. Can you imagine? And where is that even? Where is that Ifunaya? There's going to be a meeting in this palace in the morning. I want to look into the eyes of those idiots and tell them exactly what I have on my mind. I am working underground on that. But you have to be up and doing. We will leave no stone unturned. 